Hello, my name is Mr. Wigginton. I'm the Director of Learning for PE at Jobham. Um, I want to give you a brief overview of what you can expect uh, with your PE at Jobham. First of all, we do lots of different sports from handball, basketball, table tennis, athletics, the list goes on. So, so lots and lots of things um, you're going to enjoy doing over your uh, five years here at Jobham. We've also got lots of clubs that we do um, for enrichment from football, netball, again, basketball. So lots and lots of variety, lots of different things you can choose from. Um, so definitely lots of opportunities to get your teeth stuck into something that you're really passionate about. We also have lots of fixtures uh, and lots of teams that compete against um, schools nationally and locally, which I know that you will find really, really interesting. I'm now going to pass over to Miss Sony, who's one of our PE teachers here at Chobham. And she's going to run over um, a lesson which you may be doing sort of later on in the year when you join us in year seven based around yoga. Thank you. Bye bye. doing a health related fitness lesson today and um, the sport that you were doing is yoga. So the learning objectives. The first is attitude, um, which will be resilience. So throughout the session, whilst you are doing the yoga moves, I want you to think about how are you showing resilience right now? Um, the skill that we will be doing are different yoga sequences, uh, standing, laying down, um, and you can achieve different levels, so bronze, silver or gold. Um, to get your bronze level, you need to connect at least three sequences together. Um, to get your silver, I want you to try and connect five sequences together. And for gold, I would like you to try and connect seven or more sequences together. But I will help you get there. And then the knowledge factor today um, is flexibility. And um, for those of you that don't know, flexibility is the range of movement around a joint. So keep these in mind. I will come back to them at the end of the lesson. So for now, in terms of equipment, all you need is a nice mat, okay, and an open space. If you don't have a mat, you can do it on like flat sort of rug or your carpet, whatever you have um, available. So to start this lesson, what I would like you to do, okay, is stand in the middle of your mat. Okay, I'm going to stand side on just because of this recording. Um, but I want you to get into a lovely, peaceful state of mind. Just whilst I get our music on. Okay, and now we are going to begin. So, if you do not like taking your socks off, um, that is completely fine. You can roll your socks just the way that I have, so that the heel is exposed. So what I'd like you to do is stand in the middle of your mat, arms by your side, close your eyes and take a deep breath in for six, five. Four, three, two, one, and deep breath out. Six, five, four, three, two, one. This time you're going to do it again, but I want you to reach onto your toes, stretch up far, as far as you can, and breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, and as you exhale, coming back down onto your heels, rock all the way back. Five, four, three, two, one. And steady, open your eyes. I want you to stretch again. This time, walk to the top of your mat and roll back onto your heels again. One more time, stretch up. And back down. This time I'd like you to take your right leg, okay, take a step back for me, okay, your foot is going to be 90 degrees, your back leg is going to be 90 degrees whilst the other one is 180, so facing forward. I want you to bend into it and feel a stretch 
just down here. And once you have your balance, I want you to bring your arms up and hold for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. From here, I'd like you to turn your arms and hold again for 10. I want you to slowly bring your arms back, take that back foot, step forward and change. So left foot goes back this time, 180 degrees out and slowly bend forward once you've got that position and your balance, arms up for 10. And change. Three, two, one. Really focusing on your breathing, bring your arm back to the top. Okay, and we are going to go to the beginning of that sequence. So remember your starting position. Apologies for that. Um, so, back to your starting position, standing in the middle. Ready? Take a deep breath in, stretch up. Five, four, three, two, one. And back down. Five, four, three, two, one. This time, up you get onto your toes. And I want you to walk forward. And relax. This time, take your right leg. This is called the warrior pose, okay? Just like we've done before. Get your balance, up you get. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And turn to the side. From here, I would like you to take the hand that is forward, okay, so it should be your left one if you're following the same sequence as me. I want you to drop it onto your front leg. Use your elbow to push your knee out and you will feel a really nice stretch down your groin and look up towards the ceiling. So this move here is called a fallen star and hold. Slowly bring your arms down and change. Bring both hands down, step forward. Slowly rise up, roll your shoulders back and take a step back with your left leg this time. Bend your knee, find your balance and arms come up. This is your forward warrior. And turn into side warrior. Doing the exact same thing, drop that front leg in front of your right knee and look up towards the ceiling. Remember, push out that elbow so that your knee really feels that stretch. So bring both hands together, step in, and raise your shoulders back, roll. Focus in on that breathing, 10 seconds, sorry, six seconds. Take a deep breath in, five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath out, five, four, three, Two, one. One more time, take a deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, 
one, take a deep breath out. Five. I want you to just slowly rock back and forth, side to side this time, with your body. Okay, and now we're going to go on the floor to do a few different movements before we start connecting them all together again. So this time I would like you to walk from your tiptoes all the way back into the middle of your mat. Let your heels touch the ground. Nice big stretch up. Good, and from here, I'd like you to take a seat. So you are going to be in the middle of your mat. I'm gonna be facing you, but you can do it whichever direction you see fit. I'd like you to put your hands on your knees to start off with. Okay, you can take a deep breath in for six. Ready? And deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one, and out. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, take a deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one, and deep breath out. Five. One. This time what I would like you to do is open up your legs onto the floor. You're going to take your right arm and you're going to try and reach as far forward as possible. Tuck in that head nice and safe and hold. You're going to slowly raise your head again and you're going to try that on the opposite side. So you're going to stretch and hold. You're going to slowly bring that up again. From here you're going to take your right leg in. Okay, and you're going to try and get further into that stretch and hold. Slowly come back up and change. Right, from here I'd like you to bring both your feet together so that they are touching like so. And all you're going to do is rock your body in a circle. Remember, focusing on that breathing, breathe in and out, change direction. And now from here, I would like you to lay down on your back. Get your knees all the way into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. And you are going to rock so. Slowly fall over to the right, really nice and slowly. Feel the floor roll into your back and change direction doing the same thing over to the left and again over to the right and back over to the left From here, you might want to explore some rotations. And I'd like you to drop your right leg down, still holding onto that left leg. Nice and close into your chest. And 
change, still focusing on your breathing. Make sure the other leg is fully extended out and your neck is, has a neutral spine. Good, and I'd like you to slowly come up. Keep yourself seated, take a deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one, and back out. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and so we are now gonna start connecting all those moves that we have just done together. Okay, so if you need a drink of water, please go and get one. Okay, and we are going from the very beginning. So, standing in the middle of your mat, take a deep breath in, reach up, up, up on your tiptoes. And back down as you breathe out. One more time, reach up. And back down. Last time up, as you come up, remember you're walking to the top of your mat. Feet goes down, take that right leg, place it back, remember 180 degrees. Bend that front leg forward and bring your arms up and hold. Turn into side warrior. From here, drop that front arm forward, elbow against your knee, stretch, and once you feel balanced, look up at the ceiling. From here, take that other arm down and stretch on the opposite side. Remember, bring your head up if you feel nice and balanced. Arm comes down, doing the same thing on the opposite side. Legs together, slowly roll up. Take a deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one. As you take that deep breath out, I want you to step back and get yourself into Side Warrior once again. From this point, don't forget, okay, front arm drops. Push your elbow against your knee, look up, and remember to focus on that breathing. Both arms come down this point. Right, we're gonna connect those moves that we learned a little bit earlier on. So from here, I'd like you to slowly get your hands down onto the floor and stretch up just once. And again, bend those knees, so hands are nice and flat. And stretch up. To make the, that's the easy version, if you want to make it a bit more difficult for yourself, you can grab the back of your ankles and stretch up to see if you can go any further. Right, now from here you're going to slowly bring yourself down to take a seat. I'm just going to turn this way, you can stay where you are. And from here, I'd like you to take both legs out, point your toes, and as you take a deep breath in, I want you to stretch over to your right as far as you can in five, four, three, two, one. And slowly relax, breathe out. And 
as you take a deep breath in, again on the left hand side. Some of you may be able to go a lot further than me and that is perfectly fine. Right, from this point, okay, you're going to take that left leg, tuck it into the other leg, and you are going to breathe in. As you breathe in, you're going to fall. Ready? And stretch. Should be able to go a little bit further this time. Four, five, four, three, two, one. And back up nice and slow. Change over your legs. The left leg comes out this time. Right leg comes in. And stretch. Remember tucking that chin to chest. Slowly coming up. Right, and this time, okay, you're bringing both legs together. And I want you to slowly get onto your back and tuck those knees into your chest. Remember, keep that neutral spine so you should try and get your neck down onto the floor as close as you can. Just hold it, focus on your breathing. I want you to slowly rock over to the right. Bring yourself back to the middle. Rock over to the left. Back into the middle. Practice a few rotations. Remember you can go round. You can just move right and left. Explore your body's range of movement. Once you're ready, come back to the middle. Take your right leg down, keeping that left leg all the way squeezed into your chest. So you're giving yourself a big hug and hold. Remember, focus on that breathing. Take a deep breath in and out. So drop that left leg, bring that right leg in, and hold. Good, coming back to the middle and sitting yourself up. So we have done two phases so far. One was a standing sequence where you've done all your warrior poses and the second one was where you've done a bit of floor work. However, I would like to connect them a little bit better and so we're going to do something that we can put in between both bits. Okay, what I'd like you to do is slowly stand up when you're ready. Okay, if you need to get a drink of water, you can get a drink of water in that time before I start showing you the second phase. Okay, once you've got yourself a drink of water, what I'd like you to do is remember that the last, the end bit of the first phase, okay, was when you had done your fallen star. So your fallen star was this point over here. So once you have done that on both sides, this time we're gonna bring both hands down to the ground and you are going to put yourself into a plank position, an extended arm plank position. So both hands stay flat on the floor, okay? And you are going to jump back, get your bottom down. We don't wanna be up here, okay? Cause that isn't good for our back. You wanna be nice and flat, bottom down and hold. From this position, I would like you to get your knees onto the ground, okay, and get your back into a neutral spine. And we're just going to do some breathing and rolling exercises here. 
So as you take a deep breath in, you are going to arch your back. So deep breath in. Five, four, three, two, one. And deep breath out. Five, four, three, two, one. Remember, you want to feel the full extension. So deep breath in. Arch your back. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And deep breath out. Remember, extend your neck too so that you are looking forward. This time, take a deep breath in until you are neutral. So head comes back down, facing the floor. And from here, I would like you to go into child pose, which is you sinking your bottom down into your heels and stretching as far out as you can with your arms. Here I'd like you to rotate to the right and to the left. Really feeling that extension down your arms. And from here, you're going to go back into the middle. Okay, you're going to sink your hips down, chest down, arms up, so that you are in a cobra. If you feel like this is very comfortable and you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, from here, you can actually go onto your toes. But if that's too hard, just keep yourself nice and flat. Remember, keep those, that head up to really feel that stretch down your back. And one more time, go back to the middle. You wanna sink your bottom down into your hips. Back to the middle. Knees down, chest down, arms up and hold. Remember, head up if you really want to challenge yourself. And then from here, you go back to the middle and you take a seated position to then go into phase three of the yoga moves that we have done. So we are going to go back to the beginning after I've shown you that middle section. Okay, just before we do, please get a drink of water. And we are going back to the top, so in each sequence, in each phase, as I've called them, okay, you have done about three or four sequences, but now we're going to bring the whole thing together. So I'm going to put the music up a little bit more. Okay, I want you to stay really nice and relaxed, nice and calm. So, going back to the middle, I'd like you to start off your yoga sequence by taking a deep breath in. Four, five, four, three, two, one, and deep breath out. Five, four, three, two, one. This time on your heels, sorry, on your tiptoes, and five, four, three, two, one, and as you take a deep breath out, going back onto your heels. One more time, take a deep breath in, and back out. From here, I'd like you to go onto your tiptoes and walk to the top of your mat, nice and slowly. Once you reach the top, Back down onto your heels. Take your right leg, going into side warrior. Arms up once you've found your balance and hold. And change into side warrior.
and forwards. Fall and start, remember elbow pushes up against that knee and head comes up. And arms comes back down. You're going to bring that back foot forward, slowly roll up, nice and easy. Roll your shoulders back, take that left leg step back, find your balance, go into forward warrior. Turn into side warrior. Drop into fallen star. Head up and hold. From here, like both arms down. Remember you're taking that front leg, okay? And you are stepping back into plank position. Hold. Right, knees down. Get yourself into that neutral spine. Take a deep breath in and arch. Five, four, three, two, one. And breathe out. Five. Four, three, two, one. One more time, arch. Five, four, three, two, one, and back out. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now this time, remember you are sinking back into child pose, so you want your bottom to go as far down as possible and hold. Concentrate on your breathing. Remember, rotate to the right, rotate to the left. From here, you're going into Cobra. So remember, nice and quick. Knees down, chest down arms up and extended. Head up once you feel comfortable. And back down into child pose. So remember, sinking those hips and your bottom down into those hips and hold. Last time, back up to the middle, cobra, knees down, chest down, arms up, extend that head if you want to feel more of a stretch down your spine, and hold. Come back into the middle, from here you are going to swivel onto your bottom. Legs come out, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, I want you to stretch down towards your right leg, and hold. Slowly bring your body up, take a deep breath in, and out, four, five, four, three, two, one, good. Bring that left leg, tuck it in again, into your right leg, doing the exact same thing, take a deep breath in, and as you breathe out, when you stretch down, you should be able to go a little bit further, and hold. Slowly bring yourself back up, and change legs, take a deep breath in, 
and breathe out. Bring yourself back to the middle. Remember, both legs come in together. I'm just going to curve around here. Okay, bring both legs in together. Stretch your knees down, try and get them to touch the ground. And once you have done that, you just want to rock. Okay, remember, you can go forward, you can go backwards. You can go left to really explore the range of our movement. Good, well done. Okay, and to finish off, so the last bit of your sequence, okay, or one more final added move, and only do this if you want to try it. Okay, you are going to finish off by laying down onto the ground. You're going to bring your legs up. Ooh, I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to bring your legs up. And try and stretch over. If you like, you can try and bring your feet down. A bit stuck for space here. But keep your feet flat and you can try and touch your toes to the ground. You can try that two or three times due to the lack of space. Uh, I can't show you completely how to do it. Finish off with that. So I hope that you've enjoyed the yoga sequences that we've done. We're going to finish off with five minute meditation that um, the recording is going to take you down. So once you have finished with that last little bit, I would like you to take a seat on your mat once again like you to lay down nice and flat like you to lay down nice and flat arms by your side close your eyes for me welcome to this five minute to the guided five body minute scan. Body start by sitting comfortably with a straight back and close your eyes ignore that you can do this lying down rest your hands gently on your knees or cut them softly in your lap. Relax your neck and shoulders. And as you become still, bring your attention to the breath. The calming breath. The soothing breath. The breath that connects the mind and body. Notice how it draws into your body and as it leaves your body. And now we'll begin scanning the body. So bring your attention to your head, feeling into your scalp, forehead, and face. You might notice tingling or tension, throbbing or soft vibrations. And if you don't notice anything, don't worry. All that matters is you experience whatever is there. And now lower your focus to the neck, letting the throat and sides and back of the neck soften. And if you notice any tension, see if you can allow it to relax. Now bring your attention to the shoulders, noticing what's here. Whatever you observe is perfectly fine.
Bring your attention to your arms and hands. Observing any sensations that arise on the surface of the skin or deeper within. Inhale and exhale, softening this entire area. Now come to the chest and torso. Notice how the lungs expand and contract. Expand and contract. Drop your attention to your abdomen. Notice it filling up with air. And then on the exhale, Slowly empty. And now scan your back and experience whatever's there. There's no right or wrong, but if you notice any intensity, try directing the breath into those areas to help them soften. And then bring your attention to your pelvis and hips. Notice where you make contact with your chair. And scan your legs, circling your attention gently around your thighs, knees, shins, and calves. And then all the way into your feet and your toes. Letting them relax and become soft. And now settle into the stillness that comes from paying attention to your body, part by part. And when you're ready, Wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring your attention back to the room and open your eyes. Enjoy this relaxed, peaceful state and take it with you into your day. Right guys, so that is actually the end of our yoga session. Um, I hope that you enjoyed yourself and you tried to stretch your limits. Um, so I'm just gonna leave you with this thought. Earlier on, um, I mentioned your different learning objectives. So I hope um, that you know how you showed resilience. So that could have been by connecting a few moves that you thought were quite difficult or by even just trying to get the positioning correct for some of the moves and maintain your balance. Um, the skills today obviously was yoga sequences and we've done so many today. We've definitely done more than seven, but were you able to connect them and flow with one move to another? So who, you know, uh, who tried uh, doing the three together really well, the five, and then maybe all seven, especially at the end of that session. Um, and flexibility, so I'll be testing you in September, okay? Flexibility is the range of movement around a joint. So did you really work on your flexibility and how did you do that? So I'm going to leave you with those thoughts. Um, if you have any questions, obviously feel free um, to let your head of year know. No, I'm joking. Um, keep them safe for September and I will be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for your time.